welcome to the Countryside YMCA television show. I'm Matt Bruns. I'm the Chief Development Officer at Countryside Y. And I'm joined today by Ali Ganino, who is our new Marketing Director out at Countryside Y. So we're very fortunate to have Ali, who uh, brings her over a decade experience of marketing yeah. to our Countryside Y. And uh, we're proud to have her out there. And I'm yeah. privileged she's uh, joining us today in the studio to kind of talk about basically all things Y and how we are uh, working and putting intentional efforts into getting those things out to the community so people know a little bit more about the why. I think, uh, you know, Ali, when people look at the why and they think of the why, they know, okay, there's youth basketball out there. There's, there's swimming pools to go swimming. There's treadmills to hop on. So, you know, the gym and the swim part is pretty <laughs> prevalent out there. But uh, our messaging and what the why does is obviously a lot bigger than that. Yes. So I know that's part of your role. Um, some things that we want to, like I said, put intentional efforts in yeah. to get around there. So we'll get to talking about that today. Mm -hmm. But uh, one, welcome. Yes, thanks. You've been with the Countryside Y for three months Three now? months, yeah. All right. And in Lebanon forever. I grew up here. So I've That's been coming awesome. to the Y as a member. And like you said, participating in the gym and swim portion. So even being on staff, I'm learning a lot more about our mission and vision for Warren County. Yeah. So what uh, what made you decide to work at Countryside Y. Okay, so my background was always marketing for small businesses, contractors, things like that. But just the mission and the outreach that they have in the community to really serve them. And when I say serve them, it's like we are getting feedback from the community. Hey, you know, we have veterans that are not getting connected, that need a brotherhood or sisterhood and need that support and want to share a meal together and do life together. And so we heard that from Warren County and then the Y was able to create a Veterans Connect program to serve those needs. So I love to see um, it's less about this is what we want to do for Warren County yeah. and more of Warren County, what do you need? Like, we're here to serve you. So I just love how that relationship with Warren County has worked. That's good. That's yeah. awesome. Um, I know I get to work with you hand, yes. hand out there. So we get to uh, kind of walk through some new things and we look at, you know, I've been there for just over two years, yeah. but I'm kind of, um, as far as my tenure in the Y, I'm still relatively speaking yeah. new to countryside. Yeah. So I still look at different things there kind of yeah. a little bit differently. And I know mm -hmm. you coming in, put new eyes on things and we get to look at mm -hmm. opportunities to say, oh, does the community know that mm -hmm. these great things are happening? Mm -hmm. Because I know on this television show, I've talked a few times about, you know, this is a special why. Mm -hmm. It is unique in the fact that it does put its stake in the ground and say, this is our mission. Mm -hmm. We're putting Christian principles behind what we do. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the funnel that we put all of our efforts yes. through. And here's our outreach programs mm -hmm. in the community. Here's our service to the community. Here's mm -hmm. health and wellness. Here's youth development. We're doing these things, but yeah. it's all through this lens or all through this funnel of our mission, yeah. which is putting Christian principles into practice. Yes. So um, what have you seen in your first three months yeah. that uh, you've kind of liked out there and thought, yeah. man, I, I've been coming to this Y yes. for a long time, yes. but I didn't realize this piece happened or that piece happened. Yes. So I would say a big thing that I have seen is meeting you know, the coaches and people that run the programs, like you said, Yes, they might be providing a service of, hey, we teach a Zumba class, or we teach a dance class, or we teach flag football. But those principles and those values that a lot of people believe in here in Warren County and see how they're teaching um, their children. Even, you know, in gymnastics, for example, I had a conversation with the director the other day about they always refer back to how can we be responsible and they mm -hmm. teach the kids as they're listening and learning basic skills how they can be responsible for um, their body and their movement or how they can be honest and caring and so how they can be caring and keeping their hands to themselves at a small age yeah. or it kind touches and things like that so all these things that um, you know, you see a lot of schools trying to implement with the way that they guide the youth and the same thing that we're able to do on a, on a basic level starting out as young as swim class at 18 months all the way up until, you know, your very last day. So it's amazing to see that full spectrum of services. Yeah, it is. And you, uh, you know, one of the first things you talked about was the member coaches there. Yes. So um, we have at Countryside Y, if someone comes up, Yes. Either they've been a member, but mostly it's for new members. Yes. Um, the building can be a little intimidating yes. and overwhelming, <laughs> right? It's yeah. 230,000 square yes. feet. Yes. One of the largest Ys in the country. Yes. It used to be at one time when the expansion happened, the largest Y in yes. the world, I think. Yeah. Um, now still one of the largest, but um, yeah. we have member coaches yeah. 
that their sole purpose is to make people feel comfortable in the Y. Yes. And it's great that we are able to do that. Um, that program actually started um, through the resources provided from our endowment program. Yes. So we have donors that uh, donate to Countryside Y and they mm -hmm. donate to the annual campaign with different things happening there, mm -hmm. our outreach programs. And then we also have people that um, get behind kind of a, a longer look mm -hmm. um, to make sure that Countryside Y is still able to work through its mission, yeah. still able to be innovative and do those things, but it takes resources to do those. Mm -hmm. And people um, do donate to our endowment program. Yeah. And our endowment, some of the proceeds from that, um, we're able to come up with member coaches years yeah. back. And we have staff that mm -hmm. are literally just there to make people feel comfortable, mm -hmm. which is great because some people come in and like I said, we have a large cardio strength center. Yes. So if someone comes in with a goal of getting more fit, mm -hmm. whether that's losing weight for a daughter's wedding yep. or whatever the purpose is, the, whatever their drive is to get fit, mm -hmm. um, if they you know, aren't used to how the treadmills work yes. or how the pin selectorized weight machines or the free weights, how we go about me. those things. <laughs> Some people get in there and be yeah, like, I yeah. don't know what's happening in here. Well, agreed. I think, too, like you and I are outgoing personalities. So we would say, hey, show me how to use this. Right. Show me how to do this. How do I connect to this? How do I get access to that? There are a lot of people out there who that's just not their personality. Yeah. They aren't going to ask. And so we want to say, how can we make you feel comfortable? How can we make you feel part of this community? How can we yeah. make sure that you're getting the most out of your membership and your time here? Right. And so we want to say, hey, instead of waiting for you to have a need, Let's be proactive and say, hey, did you know about this? This is another great way that you can use our facility. We've had a lot of people, you know, host a birthday party here or they rent the golf simulator or different things that they just may not know about and yeah. not feel comfortable asking about. Right. And that's, um, you know, I'm glad you're here today because yeah. I literally, you know, day after day I work there. So I, <laughs> I see things and I forget like, oh, we got to put intentional yeah. efforts on sharing our impact stories yes. with the community and doing different things. And that's why I'm glad you're there and be yes. able to help us be creative and energetic about mm -hmm. doing that. So uh, it's, it's wonderful to have you there. But, mm -hmm. you know, last week was our golf outing. Yes. So that was your first experience oh, with a golf outing. That was awesome. It first was a ball, great day. The Grizzly, which was the Mason Golf Center. Yep. Um, now, did I hear that that was a Phil Nicholson course? Phil, no, it's a Jack. Jack. Mm. Wrong actor, not yeah. golfer. Okay. <laughs> so you can tell yes. I'm a golfer, right? Yes. Um, yeah. so Jack Nicholson. Because course. he's the Golden Bear. He's the That's Golden what's Bear. That's called the Grizzly. So the Grizzly. Okay. Count, yep. Um, great course. Everyone was just talking about. I mean, we lucked out. We had like the last nice day because it's always yep. September 21st every year. It's always the third, third Wednesday. Wednesday. So okay. the date changed a little bit, but always so, the third Wednesday in September. Sunny, beautiful weather, beautiful yep. course. It was awesome. But I think the best thing is seeing participants and sponsors and volunteers and everyone just celebrate and be together yeah. and have community and laugh and share an amazing meal. And just that's just something that I think everyone needs more of. It, it's great. And I appreciate our CEO, Chris Johnson, mm -hmm. was there and his and you know, we have just a few words at the beginning thanking mm -hmm. people for supporting the why in our mm -hmm. outreach because a lot of people don't understand why the why does fundraising. Yes. Doesn't do it to pay for lights or yeah. treadmills or thing. Operations yeah. handle the building and those type of things. Mm -hmm. But we do do fundraising so we can do outreach in the community. Yes. We want to be able to hear the needs in the community mm -hmm. and when we can and our services mm -hmm. and resources, we can react and say, okay, mm -hmm. let's have these type of things available for certain people. You mentioned yeah. Veterans Connect earlier. Yes. So it was a good day, but I, I like Chris Johnson in his few words at the beginning said his goal is that during that day, he hoped all, I don't know, we had 130, 140 yeah. golfers out there. He said, I hope each one of you learned something yeah. new about the Y today. Yeah. And we had some, we had yard signs. We mm -hmm. had a program with, here's our outreach programs that you are supporting by being mm -hmm. part of the golf that day. Mm -hmm. But there is, um, you know, Live Strong at the Y for Cancer mm -hmm. Survivors. The Veterans Connect is one that I know you helped yeah. work on because... Yeah. I guess we'll go ahead and share some exciting yeah. news, but we have a yeah. Harley Davidson we do. motorcycle too. Yeah. I'll let you yeah. share about so, that. So um, it kind of was, I'm going to say organic, but Powder Keg Harley Davidson and Mason, um, you know, has shown interest and supported our Veteran Connects program as it's kind of launched and they're having a, um, a, a trail run, which is super exciting that we have. Yeah. Again, who knew we had a hiking trail at the YMCA, <laughs> right? Um, and so being able to have that November 5th, that's amazing. And that was something that they said, hey, we would love to do a win a Harley Davidson. So we're currently giving that away. Um, there's a raffle for a chance to win it. 
So we're only selling 200 tickets. So the odds of winning are super good. One in 200. One in 200. Not you too can't bad to beat win that. I know. Davidson. You're more likely yeah. to win this than a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Um, and so to uh, get a chance to win, you just buy a $100 raffle ticket. And like you said, that $100 does not go to anything, like you said, lights, payroll, any of that. It is for our giving in the community um, and towards our Veterans Connect program. Right which is a 12-week program. We have day and evening classes where we connect veterans, um, all branches of military, um, even the Space Force. I don't think we have any veterans from the Space Force quite yet, still to do. Um, but also I think what's cool to see with them is the age range. I love to see that we have people from 20 years old to yeah. 70 years old um, working out to whatever ability is the best for them at that stage in fitness, and then for them sharing meals, um, and then just also tapping into um, resources that we can connect them with, you know, the VA or other yeah. mental health resources. We've got a lot, good, a lot of good feedback from mm -hmm. that. And that's a yeah. prime example of what I was talking about earlier. What are some needs in the community? Yes. And as that need was brought to us, I know Zach and our program department um, kind of looked at this and said, hey, we can kind of parallel the mm -hmm. blueprint that we use for Livestrong, mm -hmm. which is for cancer survivors. And we run that program. Mm -hmm. We kind of do this for veterans. And he found yes. the perfect person to run it in Mike. Yes. Mike does an awesome job. He is a veteran himself, but mm -hmm. he, you know, he gets those participants. I mean, it's like PT there. Yeah, and it is. I've, I've been uh, on the track upstairs and looked down and watched this class. I'm like, there's some 60, 70 yeah. year olds that are doing yeah. bear crawls yeah. and different things with dumbbells. I'm like, this is awesome. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's inspiring to see these, these veterans get at it like that and they yeah. love it. They love, uh, being able to take some time and share mm -hmm. a meal and talk to one another and mm -hmm. also connect. They've got a lot mm -hmm. of different stories. Yeah. Um, some are very positive and inspiring, some are very challenging, and mm -hmm. you know it's good that they have people to share it with, mm -hmm. and they, they kind of feel that, as a veteran yeah. myself, I'm proud that we have that at Countryside Y, yeah. but um, I'm glad that we are able to do that yeah. for veterans. Well, and then Apple Fest, we had our Apple Fest yeah. 5, 10, 15K run, and the benefits are Live Strong Program, which is also a 12-week program. Um, to you know, just help those folks that have um, fought cancer yeah. and now they're ready to rebuild and regain their strength and also just provide them a community that um, of other people that are their neighbors and yeah. their friends and their coworkers who've gone through it that they can just connect and heal and get stronger together. I mean, it's so cool yeah. to see them in the CSC Good way to say it. Doing that's their exact, thing. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. But, yeah. um, you know, they have this common bond. Yes. Um, they've gone through this very challenging mm -hmm. thing. And if you haven't gone through it, you may hear about it and kind it of relate to it. can be empathetic. But it's, it's, if you've gone through it, you've got that bond mm -hmm. with someone else that has done it. And yeah. they do bond in that mm -hmm. class and they, they hold yeah. each other accountable. Like, hey, where yeah. were you on Monday? Yeah. You know, yes. we need to have you here. Yeah. And they, yeah. they hold each other accountable and stuff. But it's good. Yeah. It's a great program. Um, it's one where they... They really work and they um, physically, mentally, and spiritually mm -hmm. kind of learn to thrive again yes. after battling something. You're, yes. You've got doctors around while it's happening. Mm -hmm. You've got a lot of family around and then family's got to get back to work or mm -hmm. back to their things in their lives. And yeah. doctors get on to their new patients. And they're kind of left in this space where I just went through this big thing and now mm -hmm. here I am. Yeah. And to hear the participants talk about, man, it feels the joy. great to the joy. be me I mean, again. Yeah. Like they feel good yeah. again. And then yeah. they... Like I said, spiritually, mentally, and physically kind of just help them thrive. I love it's, it's seeing, a wonderful class. I love seeing the yellow t-shirts just scattered yeah. around the Y. Or even like when I go to Kroger, like just the yellow Live Strong YMCA shirts. Yep. Just, it's great to see how that just trickles out into the community. For sure. So we've, uh, we've talked a little bit about outreach programs that yes. happen at the Y and why we do some fundraising. What are some other things you saw in the building? Um, let me let me even go down. Like if we go downstairs, you realize mm -hmm. there's some non-physical things yes. in the Y arts yes. program and different things. Yes. What's uh, what do you think about what's happening at Countryside for kind of non-physical, whether it's youth or adults? And yes. So first of all, pickleball. Yeah. You know, when I think of growing up the Y, everything was racquetball. Now it is pickleball. It is for I, sure. in Harmon. You go by Parman at any time of the day. People are out there playing pickleball. Oh yeah, absolutely. Harman, um, which I love the new playground equipment. That's amazing. Um, but yeah, it's like we have pickleball teams. So many people are go, hey, I would love to try pickleball, but I don't have a partner. 
I don't have three other people yeah. to just play a pickup game, you know, at, at any court. And so what's great about our pickleball is that it's just a way to connect people, give them an opportunity to try it. Um, and they're, they get pretty competitive oh, yeah. and it's so cool. And so a lot of that's housed in our lower level entry um, by our indoor um, family aquatic center, our um, gymnastics and um, ninja course, yeah. um, our party room. Um, and then we have our arts department, which October is arts month. So this is a good time to just kind of think about, like you said, outside yeah. of sports, the arts are, I mean, I didn't even realize that we have sewing classes. Um, I know there's a lot of really cool where they can learn to just traditional sewing or sewing American Girl doll clothes. Yeah. Um, we have safe sitters for people that want to learn about um, how to um, basically ba be a babysitter and what that means and bring them into that role so that they can be confident. You can be confident in your children kind of starting to have their first job or make their yeah. own money beyond that lemonade stand. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Um, we have a Lego club, which is just kind of tying into some stuff that we're doing with um, STEM programs with other, um, you know, um, entities in the community. And I mean, dance. I mean, they have ballet and hip hop yeah. and um, they have recital. We've got pottery the out there. Pottery for Anita kids who and adults. Yes. Ran the golf and yes. did it amazingly. She's awesome. Yes. One of her part-time who knew we had kilns? The y. She's who got, knew we had kilns and a whole got, pottery yeah, studio in the lower level it's amazing youth pottery yes. she does adult pottery yep. classes and they have a theater they have so theater. they have kids theater um it's for ages seven and up um typically the involvement is about seven to 14 year olds is kind of the key um folks that get plugged in but they have i have dates here um theater auditions are open to anyone don't have to be a member of the y nice um and they are october 2nd from 2 to 3 30. Thursday, October 6, 6.30 to 8. So if your kid is thinking about wanting to try theater, we have a great opportunity to get them plugged in. Um, we like them to be at least six so that they can like rehearse and learn, memorize some lines, things yeah, like that. Yeah, they're a good age to start. Yeah, getting, yep. but it's a great kind of way to get folks plugged yeah. into the arts that, like you said, maybe they've done basketball, maybe they've done other things. This is a great opportunity. Yeah. You know, I, I remember going to a Y conference a long time ago, and they talked about every kid's a star. Mm -hmm. You just got to see what they want to shine in yeah. and how they want to shine. Yeah. And some kids, it's football and basketball mm -hmm. and the physical sports. Mm -hmm. And a lot of kids, it's other things. It's arts. It's robotics. Mm -hmm. It's science. It's cooking. We have a... Yeah. Cooking class. We have yeah. a cooking class yeah. out at the Y, like yeah. a learning kitchen. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that happen out there that are non-physical. And yeah. there's a lot of people that just don't know about well, it. So we've got to let people know that these opportunities are out there. And a lot of um, families that we serve at the Y, um, either they're homeschool or they do like a co-op program where they're doing half homeschool and half um, traditional schooling. And that's a great way for them to kind of additionally supplement some of those skills yeah. and kind of just give more ways for their kid to learn hands-on um, and kind of, you know, an out-school kind of experience. Yeah, I was, uh, I was part of a Y movement. This had to be 10 or 12 years ago now, but there was a nationwide survey done okay. for school-age kids. Mm -hmm. So you're talking first grade through 12th, mm -hmm. and they talked to them, what's your favorite extra curricular okay. activity? And I did sports. Yeah. There just weren't a lot of options when mm -hmm. I was growing up. Yeah. So sports was it. And when I got into the Y, I was a youth pro program director, so mm -hmm. I did a lot of flag football, but yeah. so I did those things. So I'm expecting a lot of sports, like <laughs> what different sports are people into? Yeah. Well, the whole thing came back and 18% of the kids um, chose something sports related okay. as their number one curricular mm -hmm. activity, mm -hmm. which left 82% of the kids saying something mm -hmm. other, which mm -hmm. was, like I said, robotics, or, arts, yeah. there's all mm -hmm. kinds of different ways to you know, be in the arts, whether theater mm -hmm. or cooking is yeah. artistic. There's yeah. all, all different well, kinds of like ways to get involved. Our and Lego I'm glad club, we have that. for example. A lot yeah. of people buy these Lego sets and they're amazing and it might be, you know, Hogwarts or yeah. Ohio State this or something yeah. like that. But it's awesome. But it's like in this course, they really get them to be creative and really think about kind of that open-ended Lego building. Yeah. And it's so cool because it's like those can be the things that inspire people to be engineers. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Those it's, boundaries aren't yeah. really there. You're not really boxed in. Mm -hmm. your, your mind just gets to go and be creative. And yeah. kids are great at that yes. because they haven't experienced a lot of what yes. life throws at you that kind of makes those walls and boundaries That's go true. up. So those kids get to just be creative and go mm -hmm. out there. I love that we have that at the Y. Um, yeah. I know. So we've got a lot of stuff for kids. Yes. And different physical and non-physical things. Yes. I know one of the great things when I got to Countryside was um, I loved seeing, and not to put any other otherwise down, but there's mm -hmm. just not enough 
amenities and resources like there are at Countryside mm -hmm. for seniors. Yes. So the Stully Center is 50 and over. I was and just I mean, yeah, morning. what's your it's, first okay. impression of that place? So first of all, I always go there because hospitality is amazing. Kevin <laughs> and Julie are the best. Yes. Um, I think about once a month they do breakfast and you can smell the bacon, like fill the hall, yeah. like the smell of bacon. Yeah. And it's like $5 for breakfast. Like you can't go anywhere for $5 for exactly. breakfast. So I love that they have that. But then like even today, like I just, I had a tea and I went in there and kind of just chatted with him. We were both on, we were at Apple Fest and we were talking about that. And um, the Stolly Center is just a great space to just connect. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, they've got their own pool. Their pool is amazing and they've hot got, tub. And, yeah, they've got a fireplace yes. in the pool. They've got yes. a patio for the pool. They've yeah. got deck furniture yeah. where they and can hang out in there. they've been out there gardening there. all season yeah, long. Yeah, they've got it's gardening. Amazing. It is fantastic to, yeah. um, to have a space like that for the seniors. And yes. I know, you know, uh, the name of Countryside Y is the Ralph J. Stolly Countryside yes. Y. And yeah. I know that. Um, talking to some of his relatives and some of the mm -hmm. founding fathers of the Y that are still around when I got here two mm -hmm. years ago were able to tell me, you know, here was the foundation of why the YMCA was built. Mm -hmm. they, um, Ralph wanted a place for his grandkids to go, mm -hmm. safe place to, you know, swim, play basketball, do mm -hmm. different things and, and have a good community space to do it in. Mm -hmm. And he also wanted to make sure that every senior had somewhere to go where yeah. they would not feel isolated. Mm -hmm. He wanted them to be able to engage somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's neat to see that go on. Julie Fennessy does mm -hmm. an awesome job. I've had her on the show a couple of times. Yeah. Um, she does an awesome job with her and her team yeah. in there. It's such I mean, a there's so much, yeah, exactly. There's so much fellowship that goes mm -hmm. on in there. And there's some fitness that goes on. There, a, lot of, yeah. a lot of people get in the pool. A lot of people mm -hmm. do laps around the track or they're going the treadmill mm -hmm. and do their thing. But most of them before or after or both mm -hmm. of their workout, they sit in there, they mm -hmm. talk to their friends, they get to see people. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of times, you know, walking through there and just doing different things, people would say, you know, oh, it's nice to be here. And I'd be mm -hmm. like, you know, why? Just because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know it's awesome. Yeah. Like, why do we you love it, but why, why do you love yeah, it? Yeah, why <laughs> do you think it's awesome? And, you know, the, the response I've got is one of those things that uh, I don't think of very much and I probably take for granted, but yeah. it, it's people saying, this is the only time someone smiles at me mm. in the course of a day. This is the only time I get to talk to someone over the course of the mm. day. It's the only time someone says my name mm -hmm. during the course of the day. Mm -hmm. So you've got um, seniors that are, you know, 70, 80 years old. Mm -hmm. They live by themselves. Mm -hmm. And this is their one time to mm -hmm. get out and engage and mm -hmm. have something to do. Like, hey, I've got this aqua size class at yes. 10 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like they've got something on their calendar that keeps them mm -hmm. engaged and accountable. And it keeps them you know, again, physically, yeah. mentally, spiritually. Um, I know a lot of them go to the chapel and use that room too, but there's mm -hmm. a... I Starter if, Fitness. I don't know if they call it the library room. What's oh. the, like where they do the games, uh, they do a lot of cards and stuff in there. It used to be a library. I think they I call know. it something else now. Activity room in the yeah. Stolly Center. But, yeah. you know, it's nice that they have different couches and setups mm -hmm. and you see different little, almost my like favorite, clicks of people in there, but you see them playing games and like, puzzles. And, I love seeing like the husband and wife that come in together. And then it's like, there's like a, yeah. there's like the men sitting over here, you know, like chewing the fat and the yep. ladies are over here doing like a book club. Yep. And it's so cool because yeah. um, no matter what age we are, some of those just women love to connect with women and men love to connect with men. Yep. And it's just, it's so cool to see those communities yeah. no matter what age you are. And they've got, you know, they've got similar interests. They're yes. paralleling. Yes. At life stages where they've got mm -hmm. oh our kids are doing this our yeah. grandkids are doing this and they yeah. get to talk with one another and spend hours in there and yeah. I'm glad that they have that place to go Agreed. and I'm glad our founder Ralph Stolley like had that vision to make that happen they do such cool stuff like I think they this do. weekend they're doing like a riverboat cruise Julie's got them doing stuff like once a month fair. they go to yeah. Reds games mm -hmm. they go to museums and, yeah. and do different things but uh, yeah Julie's great um, wonderful asset to the countryside mm -hmm. YMCA staff, but her, for her to be able to, you know, go in there in that Stolly Center and just have a space for them. Because like I said, a lot of YMCAs don't have those amenities mm -hmm. available. But our, when our building was built, our mm -hmm. founding father and the people he got to mm -hmm. support it, Neil Armstrong mm -hmm. and George Hankel and these other guys, they said, well, hey, let's make sure we've got a place for seniors to always be engaged. Mm -hmm. And for them to have that vision and be able to say, that's a big need in the community, mm -hmm. and that's one we always want this YMCA to be mm -hmm. able to do is awesome. But I know they just got the locker rooms done in there, that's and people awesome. were excited about those. And it, they needed refreshed. It'll They've got so new lockers right. that aren't metal and won't rust in the yeah. next six, seven, eight years. So yeah. they should be able to 
staying a little longer, but uh, new paint, new flooring, mm -hmm. and different things in there. But it's a great, it's a great area for great our space. active older adults to be able to go and yeah. engage. Number one, mm -hmm. it's so important mentally. I know Julie did a great job during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Reaching people out. couldn't get there, mm -hmm. and our CEO, I remember him talking. He was like, he had people call him and say, "When can you open the Y? Mm -hmm. When can you open the Stully Center?" They said, yeah. "I would rather die." and be talking to my friends and be where I am and die no. of COVID than to be disengaged and sit in my house isolated. And mm -hmm. Julie and her team called people. Mm -hmm. They made connections. Hey, how she are you doing? Do you off. need everything? She drops She said stuff it was off. so hard yeah. because as a Y employee, she's like, I wasn't allowed to go in to their homes. Yeah. And she said they were like, come in. And she's like, you know, I, I want to see you and I love you, to, you know? But but again, like you said, they just, everyone, yeah. everyone craves that community. And yeah. like, you know, I've heard so many people even say like, hey, you know, I am, I am out of town. Maybe they move away from Lebanon and their parents are here. And they're yep. like, how do I give my family that gift of community when I can't be there? You know, it's a phone call. It's a video exactly. chat, which That's is great. Point, for sure. And video chats are amazing with family. But it's like, it's so great to see the, even these out of town families that grow up here that are saying, hey, I want to pay for my parents' membership this year. Yeah. I want to make sure that they stay plugged in. Um, I even heard a, a story from membership the other day that um, a, a, a member's uh, spouse passed away. And so their, their children who are out of state say, we want to make sure that they have loved on. Yeah. And it's been a great experience for them to Those make sure they're cared for. Those are moments yeah. where we work at the Y and we get to see these yeah. on the daily. but. We've got to get better at sharing I communicate these stories. That stuff. I know, I know. I'm, that's why I'm glad you're here and you're mm -hmm. learning so much in the short time you've yes. been there. But uh, what else? Anything else you want to? Oh my goodness! Before I, we, I know there's a lot happening. So I know we've got so gymnastics the, and swimming. Yes, gymnastics we've got and swimming. The two. Um, gymnastics has open gyms every Saturday. Um, so again, that's something that they do because they just want to make sure that um, whatever the age range, whatever the skill level is, yeah. they're just getting people into their facility. Come in and try it out. Them, See if it's something it yeah. the kid likes and great. Yeah. If so, yeah. great. They can get signed yeah. up. If not, and I know, speaking of the Stolly Center and Julie and the amazing work that they do, um, a lot of them volunteer and put on um, our November 11th. Yes. Um, celebration and lunch and it she was telling me the other day the history of it and how you know it started out with 20 people and now it's like hundreds of people in the community come um, just in celebration of that day to just um, honor those people and to share a meal and it's amazing yeah. to see how that program and how that event has she just she does a fantastic job I've been mm -hmm. fortunate enough to go to the last two I'm looking forward to this November 11th and being part of it again but yeah. Do a wonderful program in the event center. It's yes. open to the community, so yeah. anybody watching, yeah. welcome. Please come out. Don't need to RSVP. Show I up at noon. I think it's nine or ten is the program, and yeah. then they go into the gym and they mm -hmm. set up and they have all these tables and mm -hmm. they have lunch available, yeah. so people can come in and have lunch. They yeah, because we have, have a full, we have a full kitchen. And, Who knew yeah. that we could feed three hundred yeah. people? Because we do it every day in our our child care. Child care, yeah. yeah. Child care is huge. Um, it's a big part of the workforce and getting people mm -hmm. back to work. Mm -hmm. um, we are still looking for more staff in our mm -hmm. child care so that mm -hmm. we can help people, um, but that's a big need. So yeah, yeah it, it really is a neat place to be at Countryside Y where we look at so many things mm -hmm. in, the, in the community and say, how can we grow our service? What mm -hmm. else can we do? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we're doing so many great things now, but mm -hmm. if people out there have ideas and different things, yeah. bring it to us. We, yeah. we want to want to be a yeah. you know strong pillar in the community for everything we can and yeah. we're connected with a lot of other non-for-profits mm -hmm. and if we can't do it maybe someone else yeah. can or maybe we can partner with somebody else to make some yeah. things happen we're looking uh you mentioned earlier our trail out back mm -hmm. yeah so we have a trail out back and we're working with um, luke five adventures yes. as well as uh warren county board of dd mm -hmm. we're trying to be able to um get that trail more accessible for those mm -hmm. with disabilities mm -hmm. and challenges, whether it's balance or different things. Yeah. Luke 5 Adventures, if people don't know, they uh, actually carry hikers around. Mm -hmm. So people that would not be able to go back there mm -hmm. normally, they have um, one time a month and they're mm -hmm. looking to grow to two times a month where they get enough volunteers that they can carry people around back there. Mm -hmm. And they love it. It's going awesome. And again, it's just, it's a neat thing to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Just that, that positive impact on people's lives yeah. of, of all walks of life. Well, and even like, you know, of course, we love our CSE. We love having the, the treadmills and the stationary bikes and all the things with the, the, with the screens and the engagement and the yep. trackers and all that. I, it's great. But like you said, sometimes just getting some fresh air yep. and being on the trail, whatever, whether it's a, 
a walk, whether it's a run, whether it's like you said, just making it more accessible because that fresh air yeah. and just being out Nature there. Nature really, yeah, it really ties in with our mission. Mm -hmm. I mean, God's Mine. work, you, you can see it so easily out there in mm -hmm. nature. I'm like, it's awesome to be outside, especially mm -hmm. days like this where it's a little cooler in the morning and evening. I'm ready for then, the sweater weather. I'm yeah, ready for yeah. fall. I'm ready for it all. <laughs> yep. It's yep. like Apple Fest kicks it all <laughs> off. It's like Lebanon is like, it's officially fall. I love it. I don't know if you know much about this. I'm going to put you on the spot a little okay. bit. If you don't know, don't worry about it. There is a run on the trail in October. Yes. And this is kind ultra of race. last man standing. Yes. People sign up and you mm -hmm. just keep making laps on our nature trail yes. until you're the last one standing. Do I not know about this? Yeah. What? We're, Do you know so, more yeah. detail? So is it we like are... October 24th? <sighs> now that I don't know. Okay. Um, right. But no, I, and that's one thing. We, um, it's a partnership with an organization called Empower. And it's an ultra race. And if I wasn't so fair weathered, if they had it in the middle of summer, I would be out there. You'd be on I'd this? be out there, yeah. I like it. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things that's like, they're literally out there for 24 hours. Um, I think you have so long to complete a lap. Mm -hmm. And a lap is two and a half, three miles. Yeah. So you complete a lap. And yeah. then if you have time left, you can get some water, you can take a break. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, all right, you've got this an yes. hour to do the next yes. three miles yes. and you can just keep going and yes. keep going as long as you make the time yeah you get to keep going the next hour and you keep going until your last one they said it will go overnight yeah. so people yeah. have to run with headlamps and do different things yeah and obviously we got to get the trail all cleared yes. off and ready to go for yes. nighttime running out there. but that's exciting it is that exciting. the veterans run is november 5th. 5th yes so that's some cool things happening out yeah. there for sure and i think what's so cool about our property because again fresh eyes new in the role as we yeah. start to do like we did a kids triathlon and the 5 10 15k and all these um the bike race um that judy and then put on i mean with yes. uh, unity the unity, unity ride, ride. Yep. i mean it's amazing because everyone has said your guys's property is great for these types of events it's like it's such a gift it really is to have this property and be able to connect people and let them like you said spirit mind body like all those things it's so cool to yeah. hear that because sometimes you forget like um <coughs> all the soccer fields in the back right you go there on a saturday and it's packed out right now with flag football and soccer and it's yeah. just so cool to see the community like utilizing that those space. of us that come in you know day in and day out you kind of get used to it so mm -hmm. you kind of forget how awesome it is <coughs> you do now, i've got 25 years at otherwise so i get to keep reminding myself frequently but yeah mm -hmm. people can camp there they can mm -hmm. tons of parking there's a lot mm -hmm. of space indoors outdoors mm -hmm. a lot of things available but anything else you want to share before we wrap it up but I think you covered it all. awesome we did we did i appreciate you being here mm -hmm. so glad you're working for the why yes. you got some awesome energy mm -hmm. We're going to, you know, look forward to some opportunities of getting more impact stories mm -hmm. and, and sharing what the Y does uh, much more than a swim and gym. And, you know, I, like I said, I revert back to Chris's words. It, it's great. Our goal should be like, what can someone learn at a trip to the Y? Mm -hmm. What's something they can learn? Like, OK, we didn't know that the Y does fourth grade begin to swim, <coughs> where every fourth grader in the county can come during school time. They bus them there. Mm -hmm. There's no, you know, you don't notice who's underserved and who can afford a swim lesson. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. They all get off the bus at the same. They do a mm -hmm. swim lesson. They keep doing that for a couple months, and they're comfortable around water. Mm -hmm. They're not an Olympic swimmer, but they're comfortable around mm -hmm. water. And it's great that we have so many of these things going. We just need to continually let uh, people know because it's, it's proud pools. to be a part of it. Who knew we had eight yeah. pools, three outdoor and five indoor? I had, I knew we had pools, but I didn't know we had eight. A lot of amenities mm -hmm. out there for sure. Like, again, about goes back to credit the founding fathers and mm -hmm. what they put in front of us and all the donors and members who have been part of it for years mm -hmm. and years to come. But awesome. Glad you're here yeah. today and glad you're at the Countryside yes. Y. Look forward to working Hopefully with you. Hopefully come back. Hopefully come yeah. back to the we'll Y show. Again. We'll this do it good. again for sure. This is fun. It's been awesome having you here. Yes. So and next month is October is arts. Yes. So we'll highlight that on the mm -hmm. way out of the show today and just mm -hmm. say if anyone's interested, just contact us out mm -hmm. at the Y, look on our website. Mm -hmm. um, you can learn about different art programs out the Y. And then also for the TV show, remember YouTube and like and share and mm -hmm. subscribe. And with that, I'll go ahead and close it out. But uh, thank you. It was an awesome Countryside Y show. Glad Allie was here with us today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you. Thank you.